Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Pisces, I want to let you guys know, if you guys follow me on social medias, and um, I don't know where you get a message or some type of solicitation, please report those accounts. I do not solicit. I do not message you randomly and come up with some bullshit of, I got a message from spirit from you. Could you guys imagine if I sat there um, and received open messages? Like, <laughs> that would be insane. Um, so please be mindful of that. Do not pay. Do not send anyone any money through Cash App. I don't do Cash App. Um, if you guys are trying to get private consultations or any of my services, you can now go to our online store, purchase that on there. Um, just be mindful of the people that you're dealing with. I've been having like a crazy amount of people message me telling me that they've made payments to consultations and it was through some cash app. I do not do cash app, you guys. So um, just be aware of that. And like I said, if you do come across someone, definitely report those mother, you know what. Um, anyways, if you're new to my channel, welcome. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos that are coming out. We have the new tarot series uh, that dropped. We will officially start on Sunday, so you guys definitely stay tuned to that. Our January uh, 2022 forecast for all the zodiac signs is also coming, so you guys stay tuned for that as well. Tons of new spell videos as well to help you guys kick off the new year. All right, enough of that. By the way, uh, our online store's link is at the description box or at the end of every video. All right, let's get into it. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, what are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2021 regarding their love life? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, one more. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. So we're starting off here with the Hermit card, maybe dealing with Virgo type of energy. Um, but I feel that this has more to do with, there is a situation that came up regarding the person or uh, your partner or person of interest where they're currently internalizing. So you may not be hearing from them a lot or they may be having trouble like expressing their feelings or keeping communication open. But it has more to do with them internalizing exactly where they're at at this point in their life. So I don't feel like there's a reflection or it's a reflection of the relationship itself. It has more to do with their desire uh, to get more clarity in regards to where this connection is going. Now, the next card here is the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is exactly what I just said. I feel like if they've been pulling away not being uh, very present, perhaps not even communicating with you. Um, I feel like the reason for this is because they're trying to figure out if they want to continue this connection, if they want to continue pursuing you, um, or if they're just not ready. And the reason I say that is Eight of Cups does indicate walking away from a situation, um, and it's walking away from emotions because we have cups here. So again, could be a person that is not very good with either commitment or is not very good with expressing emotions. The moment it gets too real, they have a tendency of self-sabotaging. Now the next card here is the Seven of Pentacles. Um, so I don't see them taking any type of action for the month of December. I feel like it's more of a waiting phase right now that's going on between you two. Seven of Pentacles could represent that they're just not willing to walk away from a situation that has to do with the past. Um, Seven of Pentacles is an indication of reminiscing about the past or reliving the past. Um, Eight of Cups is walking away from emotions because they're not ready to either embrace this connection or they're not ready to release um, the feelings or person or lesson from the past. Now the next card here is the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Cups is emotional fulfillment. I feel like it's a waiting phase right now that you're going through Pisces. Um, I feel like this person does have feelings for you. I feel like the, what they don't want to do, and I'm going to be honest with you, what they don't want to do, Pisces, is they don't want to fuck it up. I feel like 
they don't know if they're willing to like get into this connection wholeheartedly and they're not willing to half-ass anything so there could be a pulling back there could be a you know not communicating right now but the reason for this is because they're trying to figure out have i really moved on from the past am i really over the past um do i feel what i think i feel for pisces and i feel it's more of a reflective type of energy that's going on internalizing figuring out what it is that they want at this point in time my advice for you pisces don't push it don't communicate if they're not communicating pull your energy back focus on you do you for a bit um and you'll see that the situation will quickly turn around i don't see it turning around in the month of december but i do see that the outcome is going to be positive for you pisces all right here we go keep in mind pisces that you may be dealing with the person for yourself that may be coming back around that is connected to your past so it could have been a situation if in fact recently you were connecting with someone and you uh realize that they haven't moved on or perhaps that they weren't completely honest what comes to mind is you know telling you that they're not in a relationship when in fact they are i feel like emotionally they've been moved on but it doesn't mean that it's actually they've moved on um i feel like if there were things left unsaid this person is coming back around trying to clear some things up um i do see a feeling of rejoice uh rejoicement here uh on your part hearing from them but again keep in mind venus retrograde doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be something long lasting it could be something uh fairly passing okay all right spirit guides what are the energies give me the oracle card that represents their person of interest for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that they're thinking at this present time? And we have, I forgive you. So I feel very strongly for some of you guys. Um, if you ended in bad terms or there was some type of distancing going on here and things could have gone a bit out of hand, there was a bit of disrespect. I feel like they may be coming back around because they're wanting closure. Now, keep in mind, this could be vice versa. It is a general reading. But whatever the situation is, there is a feeling of someone wanting to get some type of apology. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel like an apology is coming. Even if it's a person from your past that's coming back around, it's almost to reconnect or see if you're open to receiving their energy. But I don't feel that anything like anything structured is going to come from that so again venus retrograde may be influencing this connection at the present time all right all right my lovelies i want to wish you guys the very best happy holidays to all of you guys and we'll see each other soon till then bye